Hello everyone, you're welcome to Dive and Views on OPC TV Sunday's Communication. I'm by the news today, as you can see today, and I'm here um, to get people's reactions concerning the Sunday Go and the Nam Tikanu's case. I'm also here to talk about uh, the ongoing adoption in Kaduna State. About 15 people have been adopted in Kaduna State. So we'll be getting people's reactions, we'll be getting their opinions concerning this topic. Don't go nowhere, we'll come back, we'll be talking to our interviewees. We'll be back. Good day. Yeah, welcome to the show again. Thank you. And let's quickly talk about uh, what was written on the daily. It's very quick. Let's talk about um, the Kaduna adoption. About 15 um, people were adopted. So 15 travelers were adopted um, on um, Kaduna um, way. Let's quickly get reactions concerning this very quick. Thank you. Um, the main thing is that um, uh, Gumi have said that uh, what uh, Boko Haram is doing. Um, it's better than the what uh, man they can yeah, dream. Yes. So because they supported what the the, the the Boko Haram, what they are doing, the herdsmen, abducting people, collecting money. They say they are just doing it for a living. So as long as uh, the Nigerian government uh, supports the abdu abduction in Nigeria, that means it's a very good business for the Northerners. So because they are using it to siphon the the the. The finance of Nigeria. So there is nothing anybody can do about it. There is no way that, that they can stop uh, abduction in Nigeria, and there is no way they can stop Boko Haram in Nigeria because Nigerian government supported of it. That is why Nigeria was recommended as a terrorist nation. So there is nothing anybody can do about that to stop uh, kidnapping and terrorism in Nigeria. No, it's not. It's unstoppable. There is nothing. There is no regime and there is no government in Nigeria that can stop it. Anybody in Nigeria that says that is going to stop uh, terrorism in Nigeria, that person is a lie because this is a birthright of the Northerners. They have seen it as a birthright. So they are using it now. We, I had uh, in Bonu now that, uh, that uh, the, Boko, the herdsmen, the Boko Haram, they have taken over the government in, 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 in Bonu. That uh, they have taken over the government. They are going to rule in Bonu. So as uh, they have mount out their flag in Niger State. So many things are going on here because of our government, because they know what they have signed, they know their ambition. So that is why you see the herdsmen, the, what they are doing. Okay, look at the herdsmen, the, the killing and the abduction that are going on in Nigeria. Nigerian government cannot stop it. But they go as far as possible to go far as Kenya is to to hold Nam the canoe to adopt to, to show you that the abduction in Nigeria have gone international. They are now abducting international. They can go any country of their choice to adopt whosoever that they, they desire to adopt. So if Nigeria can go as far as possible as Kenya is to adopt a freedom fighter, not a terrorism. So what else they cannot do? They can do anything possible that they don't want to do. So that will show you the level of Nigeria, the the the, the criminality and the and and the and the killing, and the the herdsmen, what they are doing. That Nigerian government is in support of it. So there is nothing anybody can do about that. So that is main thing. Okay, let's quickly talk about um, what the UK um, government said concerning uh, the democracy in Nigeria. Now they've said that uh, the Nigerian democracy may be devolved. Um, this all, uh, 2023. Let's quickly get reactions concerning this very uh, What I know is that uh, Nigeria have expired since 20, 20, 2014. The amalgamation of Nigeria have already dissolved since 20, uh, 2014. So now what they are doing is that they, they just want to try to keep on um, uh, keep on uh, Nigeria moving forward. So because of the Northerners, because of the 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 the, the, the Fulanis, you know the ambition. So. There is no way that they, they, they want to fight to make sure that they keep Nigeria moving because they believe that the, the, the British hand over Nigeria to them. So they will not allow anything to happen to what the business they keep into their hands. Because if they hand over a business into your hands, you will not allow that business to collapse. So that is what they are trying to do. The intimidation, they don't want to see any, any agitation of breakup in Nigeria. That is why you see 
they are fighting to make sure that they kill the people that are, are campaigning for, for, for separation of Nigeria. That is why they are going after uh, Nandekano, they are going after Ebo, they are going after all the agitation that are going on in the country because they want to make sure that their business is continue go, moving forward. So they can spend any amount to make sure that Nigeria remain one because number one, if Nigeria break, they are going to lose a lot because they have nothing to offer. Now they have come up to say that any anywhere, any state that the pipeline pass in Nigeria, they say are you producing nation. So tell me, for you to see the level of illiteracy of these people, can you tell me that any any state that the pipeline pass in Nigeria, meaning they are oil producing country, they are oil producing states. That is what the Fulani are telling us, Nigeria. The Northerners, that, that is what they are telling us. So now you have seen what is in their mind. You understand? Okay, now look at the percentage they give to the uh, 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 to the Niger Delta, three percent and forty-eight percent to the Northerners. So what what are we still talking about? Why are we still clamoring one Nigeria? They have seen it that we are slave. Any part of Nigeria here is a slave to the Northerners. So. Now, it's for the people to wake up to say, no, we are no more. That is why you see agitation everywhere, because we are, our eyes have opened that we have now seen what the Northerners have been doing. They are killing us, and they, they expect us to be laughing. They expect us to be happy. So now, we want to live in Nigeria. They believe is their own. Let them take the Nigeria and continue with Nigeria, and let the rest people that want to separate, let them go. After all, okay, the British move out from the AU, from the EU, with a referendum, they move out. So why now are they killing the people that are fighting for their, uh, uh, for their freedom? Why are they fighting them? Why are they arresting them? Why are they trying to kill them? Now they have declared Boho wanted. Why did they want? Is it a criminal? Is it a bandit? Is it a Boko Haram? So why are they declare him wanted? because he's fighting for the freedom of his people. So why are they go as far as Kenya is, bribe Kenyan government with a $1 billion to make sure they cut the Kano hostage. They cut him because of his fighting for his people. If, if it's like that, Mandela could have been killed. But all the intimidation, Mandela fight for the freedom of his people, and he got it. They didn't kill him. After 27 years imprisonment, and other take up. If they kill and they cannot, the freedom of the people will never end. If they cut a boho, the freedom of the people have never ended. They will still continue. So how many are they going to kill? After all, Ojuku perform his own and is gone. Another person take over. So if they think that holding in and the cano is the end of the struggle, never and never. So what Nigeria, the Northerners are showing us is that anybody who rise up to agitate for the break of, of Nigeria, they are going to kill him. So now, what they have seen, what is happening, is just a film. Nothing has started yet, because the, when the people will form, how many of them, how many of them, the flan in, how many of them in number? Just a, three, a just a six million in number, that are terrorizing the, 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 the nation, the whole nation, 200 and something million of Nigeria. Only six million are putting them in bondage and putting them in captivity, telling them they are nothing before any any other person. That the 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 the, 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 the nation was handed over to them. Is their birthright? Is what the British handed over to them? That nobody can collect it from them. So now, for the peace of this country, thank God that the world have risen. The UN, the EU, the the UK have risen to to say that the amalgamation have expired. Thank God is coming from them. Now, everybody have to fight for his freedom. Everybody have know that Nigeria have separated. Nigeria have collapsed. This is a collapsed nation. This is a failed nation. So we have nothing to do with Nigeria anymore because nobody is happy. Look at the hunger everywhere. Look at the killing everywhere. When is it going to end? When all this killing and, and, and the hunger is going to end? Everything is, is, is very expensive in the country. And the government is not after that. What is after is to kill the innocent people. So when are we going to enjoy in this country? We don't, we, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't enjoy anything in this country. So now 
when all this intimidation, when all this crisis is going to end in Nigeria, we have never seen a better government in Nigeria. This is the worst government that we have ever seen, the APC government, that is the worst government we have ever seen in this country. There is nothing this government has done in this country. What we see is killing. Anybody who talk about the government, who talk about the betterment of the people, they will kill him, they will go after that person. That is what this government is after. So now have shown us, I think there is no regime that have ever agitated more than this regime because of what? The marginalization. So if we are marginalized, I will begin, I will come up with something that I want to go, I want to be free. After all, if you marry a wife and the wife said he want to divorce you, are you going to kill? Are you going to kill him? You said no. Okay, you can go. You sign up. Say okay, you can go. So the marriage is over. I'm no more interested in the marriage. Then you let me go. Why are you still holding me captive? Because I'm not happy in the marriage. Whosoever that is not happy in the marriage, we 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 come up and said I want to go. I'm not. I'm not. Even though you have 20 children, you want to leave the marriage. So that is what is happening in Nigeria because the marriage can never can no more longer hold. So that's the main thing. That is why you are seeing crisis all over. So what we are saying is that telling the Nigerian government that you should leave those who want to leave Nigeria. You should let them go. Consult referendum for them and let them go. Simple as ABCD. And manage your Nigeria. So Nigeria have expired. Leave those people. They the Oduduwa, the Biafra that are agitating, let them to go and manage your Nigeria. Simple as ABC. Thank you very much, sir. Daddy, eh? well done, sir. Yes. Yeah, good morning. Welcome yeah, to Diamond View. Yes, sir. I know you have been really you want to talk um, concerning this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday go matter. Let's quickly get a reaction. Yeah. There is a proverb as the last man has spoken that you can only force a horse to the river, you cannot force it to drink water. The unity of this nation is, that is no more in existence. It's um, a union that nobody is interested again. Either they, if you are, if you don't allow peaceful change to happen, I'm talking to the Lord that surely I'm very late. Violence is inevitable. You thought you, they thought the uh, arresting Kano is the thing, but it's more than that. Kano has gone far. He has dined and wine with the war leaders. He has addressed the parliament throughout the world and showed the agitation of Biafra. The same thing Odudua has done. The Odudua has their, you know, uh, their requisition in the United Nations since 2017. It's not a new start. It's easier for them and better for the Northerners to let us do it peacefully. And if they say no, surely and very late, Biafra and Odudua will fire them. We both of us are going to fight because we have all our children in the army, in the Yoruba land to come to you. I'm a Yoruba man. I'm not a Yoruba man. To come back to Yoruba land and fight for their land. And so that you can develop and spring up as a nation. Surely and verily. A last speaker has said, marriage is for conveniences. And if it doesn't convenience you again, you go peacefully. And if it's not possible, you go to court. That was what the Yoruba has done by going to the United Nations and seeking the conscience of the, uh, of the British that we are no more interested in the Union. The Northerners, it's good for you to hear now or later we will melt down that nation we call Arewa or whatever you call yourself. We are no more interested and we can never be together. Come what anybody can do on that. Nigeria is not one and it can never be one. Know how you can do it. But the day we become a neighbor, the day we are united, we are divided, then we'll be united. Because you come to my land, you can do your cowing, you can do whatever you want to do without interfering in our conferences. Look at the lesson city. They don't allow it to go up. Because the Northerners feel in the South, we'll be having electricity that we'll not be having. When you generate power, they want you to send it to national grid. What a fuck. Look at Europe. The, the, both the rich and the poor nation, they are lying. They don't take light for 24 hours. And you are comparing yourself with us. I'm sure all of we are ready. We are more than ready. And let me take this advice. Take this opportunity to advise the Yoruba land. Not just diplomatic alone, be prepared. 
the hands. Make sure you have your setup that when the work comes, it will not catch us on our wares. Because I'm sure it's not going to be easy to take a food from lion. But you can inject that lion and take him to bed and you take his food. So we should be prepared for that, the Yoruba nation, so that we can grow and have a good country of our own. Then industries will come up, work rate will come up. I'm not supporting the Biafra, it's, it's their own business. You understand? But we have a common enemy that we both have to fight for. Because they are also guy man, they are not really, they don't like they don't like the Yorubas. I know about this one. I must let me give you an instance. Just these three, four days ago, you can see the foolishness of this setup. I was taking the bus from Sele to Apapa Wolf. They are walking in our river. They were discussing inside the bus. I swear to God Almighty what I've said now. I don't believe they still have that set mind against you from our lower. They say Obafima Olowo committed suicide. That is what the Igbos believe in. They are idiots, animals, and motherfuckers. I hate them, and this nation will hate them. Because they benefit from us. But for insulting that man who stood by us, Ojuku was in a hurry. I'm not against Ojuku. He's also a Yoruba man. He was born here at school there. And he knew Obafima Olowo let us use diplomatic effort to get what we want. This is what Professor Akito Yanko are doing. Diplomatic effort, dialogue first. War is the last option. But he, he took the last option, and that was what failed up. And now the blame is on Shafim Lava. And call telling us that, telling themselves, we were in the bus, public bus. We are only two Yorubas here. That Shabbat Mahalo committed suicide. Since then, I said, I have hatred for them and for the rest of their life. When the Biafra come, come, uh, comes to me, they are going to excuse us a lot. And they will not be part of us. But because we have a common enemy, we we'll fight it together to make sure to achieve what we want. And they stay on their own. May God bless the public of Thank you very much, sir. It is, sir. I was age of almost 20 something years. Hey, till the border, I didn't believe that. I said, Baba, I said, Baba, I said, yeah. So I was in the early days, I was leaders for chameleons. Both move a lot of on one bow door. Why it don't so be and one but on power or a one more tackle? Why it don't down a lower drew on one full and in power? We know a job at your one day a ring conscious billing to say on way you know and you're by you know on one loop on one more issue and then you make you know to buy your car when you're ready careful and in my law. Come on, careful and in law. Can we stop our law? Can you pull law? Okay, in one bank, what are banning law related? You ought to watch it. In fact, I'm more in your one year age of thirty. For the proper party, I can move the big statement. Why can't me or know that you're the problem when you need jolly? A damn little question. So, and away, go. Hey, Jacob, one new or related. But you worry like that, I am back when I quit. You understand? Why do they buy one be more or more till they go about it? I said, And then you come back when I then you are one book and one book. I am being quite bent on men of Polo, one bent on don't buy. So I want to buy so no late be more. Come by one more. Send one do. That look back on my dear on my age of thirty years. Got a part. No, Lori Lady, Kaki, Kaki, Nibo Bone, Jiras, a joy better than Mokomabe, which is in a joke. You read of his own one, a clock for Rupway. Eh? Sunday go, why don't this up? A trial, a tall lady, you don't jaffle, bet Moko, Moko, or Loriani, or more by way, Len, make Gino. Talk by the Panuko, Kak, me, Koluka, Lupuma, Lo, Kifula, and that of Samalo. Most of what all you got also That's my own suggestion. So, Kodjakok me. So, eh, Nila Yuba. I knew that the visual Raja. Nila Yubo, only one of my God. Kodjakok me, got to you know, they talk about one was that on one of your pussy bed. Kenny, did you Why? I want to ask that statement. Toto, forget I'm a Yoruba. Me, so yes, you be you both. 
be yi tan soro le lori ko ti ko ti e fun olanfani ko ona de be ko jo de be e de ni ifan fulani ni atawusa e de nje ko pagba ko pawo e jo mu ku repeat sorry statement ni ohun oba wa ohun le lenu meji to ba le fi mo sokan ti mo won ba papo nigeria yi ma da be kini gan to fa ohun to fa ni pe ohun to fi soro aje o wa ni ba nba ti pe yoba ni won o fe je ka pe ki lo ti won fe je ka pe jo ni ko wa n kon se si be mo mo ko gun si nbo ko si da to gun o yede ohun to nsa fun yi o ma pada de na ni so be ni tori se nto ni ni lara en te le 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 ti o ba sa ti o ba sa to ba sa to ba yo ma yiju para sa ona awon ta n lo ni instrument yi awon lo lo won ni instrument be omo to nko ge yan je o pada bo wa gan won na je that is my suggestion better ko fun alanfani ko je ka pin e je ba 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 suggestion ato won leaders wa ko je ka pin e be mu ko be gbogbo won leaders le yoba ko je ka pin ngba te si wa le jo mo 20 years 30 le je o sa ko ara ejo mi lord of mercy mo beso se binu ejo e ba so fun won ko je ka pin ko je kuruka ma lo e ti o resan yo ba mi e wa ni ejo fe ejo ejo 40 years e si baba e ni e baba e si baba lo si nbo mo e je nko wo je ko je ka pin ko ba pin ni won ba e little things to ba ni a ma fi soro aje wa ko ma yo so ko ma yo sunday go lenu sunday go nja fun eto ki lo pa wa fun se ki lo pa wa fun eyin ni ka ma pa won o won de pa wa se gbogbo le bi to ni pa won yen se ta lu ma bi mo ru yen ko ma ni ko mo hun to yen ko pa ejo ye be ti mo be mi ni pe ti mo ma se nkan meji ni bo yin buari bi o ba kuro nkan ko ma yo kuro nbe gbogbo won bo ta won aso ba simple and senator mo mo pe e so lo ma kede won lori to won ja ni sin mi oko ti won no ni bade ko se pe nbe simple Thank you very much for watching our program. This is your diverse views on OPC TV, Sunday's communication. Um, we've gotten people's reactions as always, and we have gotten um, expressly, we've talked expressly concerning uh, what we have for them today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. I'm Malagwe Kayade, and the person behind the camera today, Mr. Ife Johnson. I want you the opportunity to appreciate um, the pioneer of OPC TV, our rapper, Oshibote. From every member of the OPC TV crew, we say bye bye.